Arrhenius acid. Arrhenius acid is a substance that dissociates in water to form hydrogen ions H+. Examples of Arrhenius acids are hydrofluoric acid, HF, nitric acid, HNO3, hydrobromic acid, HBr, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, sulfurous acid, H2SO3, perchloric acid, HClO4, phosphoric acid, H3PO4, hydroiotic acid, HI, carbonic acid, H2CO3, etc. Arrhenius base. Arrhenius base is a substance that increases the hydroxide OH- ions concentration in aqueous solution. Examples of Arrhenius bases are sodium hydroxide, NaOH, potassium hydroxide, KOH, calcium hydroxide CaOH whole 2, magnesium hydroxide MgOH whole 2, ammonium hydroxide NH4OH, etc. Neutralization reaction. The reaction between Arrhenius acid and Arrhenius base resulting the formation of water and salt is called neutralization reaction. Some examples of neutralization reactions are reaction between hydrochloric acid and calcium hydroxide, hydrobromic acid and potassium hydroxide, hydrofluoric acid and sodium hydroxide. Applications of neutralization reaction. Neutralization reactions are used to treat wasp stings that are alkaline, vinegar is used to get rid of it. Neutralization reactions are used to treat bee stings and ant bites. That are acidic in nature, to get rid of it baking powder is used. Toothpaste contains bases that neutralize the acid that our mouth creates from bacteria. To make the cakes grow, baking powder is typically used. Limitations of Arrhenius theory it fails to explain the acidic nature of non-hydrogenated molecules like carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide, and others, as well as the basic nature of non-hydrogenated substances like ammonia, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, etc. It fails to explain the acidic and basic behavior of substances in solvents other than water such as ammonia, alcohol, etc. This theory fails to explain why strong electrolytes like nitric acid HNO3 are completely ionized in aqueous solution whereas weak electrolytes like acetic acid CH3COOH are ionized to a small extent only.